Hello, Mr. Barton here, and welcome to another episode of the GCSE Maths Question of the Week, where every week I pick you out a delightful question that hopefully is going to help you prepare as best as you possibly can for the demands of your GCSE. Now, what a lovely question this week, kindly provided by AQA. Is this brand new to GCSE? I've certainly never seen it asked on an old GCSE. It's probably in the specification somewhere, but it could well be asked on the new one, as this question shows. And let me tell you this, students around the country are having a flipping nightmare with this question. Let's see if we can get it right. Here's some information about the distances 300 people travel to work. So there's all our information there. Distances, frequency, fine. Estimate. Okay, estimate the number of people who travel more than 15 miles to work. Right, we're going to have to take our time with this. Now, normally you might see this kind of question in two ways whenever you get a table like this. Maybe it's like draw a histogram or a frequency polygon or something like that, but there's no mention of that. And normally when I see the word estimate, I'm expecting estimate the mean of something. But there's none of that mentioned. Estimate the number of people who travel more than 15 miles to work. What the flipping heck's going on there? Right, let's break this down logically and think what we know, all right? Do we know any people who definitely travel more than 15 miles to work? Well, what about all these guys here in the 25 to 60? They travel between 25 and 60 miles. So 48, they're definitely in there. 48 people definitely travel more than 15 miles to work, okay? Anyone we can rule out? Nought to five, gone. Five to 10 miles, none of them are traveling more than 50 miles, they're gone. Now, the problem is these 84, they travel between 10 and 25 miles. Do they travel more than 15? Well, probably some of them do. Do they all? Possibly not. They, some might travel 12 miles, some might travel 11 miles, but then again, some might travel 20 miles, 22 miles, and so on. So we've got to break this 84 up somehow to estimate how many travel more than 15 miles. So. Well, a good way to think about this is to think about it as a bar on a, on a frequency diagram. So let's imagine our bar is here. Okay, and imagine this bar is all our 84 people. So in fact, imagine it's probably better to think that we're thinking in terms of a histogram here. Okay, so let's imagine we've got ourselves some kind of histogram. And imagine that 84 people are in this particular group. And this group starts at 10 miles and goes to 25 miles. And the question we want to know is, how many people travel more than 15 miles? So how many people are essentially in that group there? Okay. Now, is it fair to just halve it? Is it fair to say, well, half travel less than 15 and half travel more than 15? Well, I don't think it is right because this 15 doesn't lie in the middle of 10 and 25. So it's probably not fair just to halve it. So what should we do with it? How far does this 15 lie across this group? Well, as long as you, I mean, my diagram, you know I can't draw diagrams, but this is actually reasonably helpful. 10, 15, 20 will be there and 25's there. How far is that 15? Well, can you see it's kind of broken up into thirds? 15, 20, 25. So in fact, two thirds of this group of people I could reasonably estimate that they travel more than 15 miles. Now, it's going to be an estimation because I've no idea, but hopefully you agree with me. It's, it's certainly a more reasonable estimate, uh, estimation than assuming half of them travel more than 15 miles because 15 is closer um, it, to the 10 miles than it is to the 25 miles. So there's going to be more chance that people travel further than that than less than that. So I reckon two thirds of my 84 people may well travel more than 15 miles. Now that's, you know, that's by no means a guarantee, but I reckon that's a decent estimate. Now, <laughs> I've blown the budget on a uh, question of the week now. So look at this, I've only gone and got myself a little calculator here. So I reckon we can do this, two thirds of 84. So I, to do two thirds of 84, I like to just do 84. I like to divide it by three, and then I like to times my answer by two. Again, treat yourself to do this however you want, but I reckon that comes to 56. So that is 56 people. So I reckon 56 of those 84 people, it's reasonable to assume travel more than 15 miles. So what's me total number? Because I've not answered the question just yet. Well, I've got me 56 people from that group. I've got me 48 people from the other group. And um, I'll probably just do this in my head here. Eight and six, I reckon that comes to 14. Carry me one, five and four is uh, nine, plus me one is 10. I'm going for a 104 people travel more than 15 miles to work. Now, 
That was tricky, right? But before we go, we've put this time in. Let's just see if we can get our heads around where these wrong answers come from because this will help kind of open the door to hopefully help us figure out what the flipping X going on. Um, probably easy to start with this 196. Can you see where 196 comes from? Well, I reckon 196, I feel a bit sorry for the student who's done this because they've clearly got a really good idea of what's going out, uh, what's going on here uh, because they've seen 300 people and the difference between 300 and 104 is 196. So what's 196? I reckon that's the people who travel less than 15 miles to work. So that's your classic case of not reading the question. And I know your teacher bangs on at you about that all the time. But it's dead, dead, dead important. You don't want to do all this work and not read the question to get that. Um, do you remember at the start I said about um, how you could assume that kind of half the people travel um, more than 15 miles. Well, look what happens if you do that. So you'd have the uh, half of 84, I think is 42. So you'd have 42 people, you'd have your 48 people. And if you add those together, I think you end up with 90. So that's where 90 comes from. 90 comes from assuming that half of this particular group travel um, more than 15 miles to work instead of what doing what we did, hopefully a more accurate one of saying two thirds of that group. So that leaves us with 76. Where might 76 come from? Again, I feel a little bit sorry for these people. Um, imagine if you'd set this diagram out exactly as we have, but instead of working out more than 15 miles, you worked out that less than 15 miles. So you actually worked out a third of 84. Well, seeing as I've bought this calculator, we might as well use it here. 84 divided by three, 28. So imagine this time, instead, you did 48 people and 28 people, you add those together, I reckon you get your 76. So that's where that comes from, thinking it's a third instead of two thirds. Flipping out loads, it's tricky this question, right? And just before we finish, what other wrong answer would you include? Well, I'll tell you a wrong answer I might be tempted to chuck in the mix. Just 48. I reckon some students will look at this and think the only group I know for definite that travel more than 15 miles to work is this final group, so I'm just gonna stick with 48. And there you go. So. Difficult old question this, and again, you might not be used to seeing questions like this. So the best way to prepare for it is to, is to look at grouped data. This is all group data. And just make sure you're comfortable doing everything with group data, whether it's drawing histograms, whether it's frequency polygons, frequency diagrams, estimating the mean, or in this case, using kind of logic and proportion and all that to estimate how many people lie above or below a certain number. Oh, and if you want a little bonus, this process is called linear, in, linear interpolation. And it's something I used to just teach to my A-level students, but now GCSE people don't get to miss out on the fun as well. Anyway, hope that was useful. Hop on mrbartonmaths.com, look for group data if you want some extra work and do the rest of this quiz. It is a classic. And I'll see you for another question of the week next week. Take care, bye for now.